stepping up and giving St. Denis a bit of a bump there at the line. Lou Lebec right back in control now for the herd. A pass over to Fournier. Fournier to Lebec a shot. That one stopped by Phil Yao. Got across to make the save. On that. It was tipped wide by Spriner. And now St. Denis has it taken away from him. And off to the races. Jake Todd driving in the backhand a shot. That one stopped by Phil Yao. Comes across to make the save. Control off of that offensive zone faceoff. Puck will be sent around here to Jake Furlong, who pinches in down the right side, knocked it down there for Catapor. And a pretty good battle, battle there with Luke Coughlin. Dume comes away with possession, rounding the net. Centers back door, they score! Marcus Vinicek knocks it home with the moose ends. Drop first blood. Play right here from this top Moose Heads line. What a shut up from Jordan Dume as he comes in to support Catapor, who works it out to him. And just a terrific cross crease backdoor feed to Vinicek, who's going to bang that one home. And the Moose Heads up 1 0 here. Jake Furlan. They'll move it up the right wing side for Jake Todd. Todd's got speed here as he hands off to Fournier, lets it rip. And that was fought off by Phil Yaw. Across the Mooshead's blue line, quickly retrieved by Schultz, and Schultz will turn it over to Blay at the line, and he looks to spring Pilat, driving toward the net, quick shot, and Rousseau will fight it off, okay, looking for the re And now Catafor trying to go to work down low, cuts out front, and a bad stop by Phil Yon, looking around for it. In the corner of Kennedy, knocking that one back for St. Denis. St. Denis will dish off the true shot, fires one, and it's... Loved by Mathis Rousseau. Well, a first for the Mooseheads back end. Jack Martin also had his first as Pilat will launch one off the draw that Mathis Rousseau will smother. They're taking his time, partners it off for Gill. 32 seconds left. Aguilar now. Play it up ahead. Dubé on the attack. Quick pass, a shot. Oh, what a save by Mathis Rousseau. Oh, spectacular stuff. Larson is stuff from the Mooseheads netminder. Pass through there for Antoine Fontaine, but that got knocked away, and Al McPhee and Fontaine, they collide, and there's a big hit as Moravet steps up, and Fashion will move it in turn for Brody Fournier. Fournier knocked over. A quick shot there, ripped right on by Jake Todd as he found a little bit of open ice. Yeah, but Coughlin in the lane, and Kennedy will take it back the other way now. Up the left wing for Alex Blay. Blay got to bust this way in. Lose that one down there, but it worked down low from Quinn Kennedy, and it's freed up for Mathieu, trying to center it, bouncing puck in front. They score, and it's Alex Blay at the side of the net. He will bat that one home, and it's a 1-1 hockey game with 11.07 remaining in the third period. Uh, Ramuski's top scorer. Points leader, leading goal scorers, got his 12th of the season. And it's the captain. Matt Chu just kind of lobbing it on net, and it's a wacky one for Mathis Rousseau. That puck, it's it's popping around, little pinball action, and it's gonna be batted there by Blay as he got caught in behind Rousseau. That rip and one knocked aside as it's gonna come out to neutralize, and Jake Todd, he's got a handle on it, slows up, rink wide, the Moser is shot, he scores! Kate Moser answers right back, and the Moose are back on top. Ah, what a response from the Moose a response right here from Jake Todd. Terrific pass. And Gabe Moser, he picks his spot. He gets all of that one. It's a laser off of his stick. His third career Q League goal. He's first in this building. And, uh, he's going to remember that moment for a while. What a pop after that one. The Moose, they lead 2 1. Knock it up the right wing boards. It's going to. Bobble pass, Jack Martin. Now Martin pressed by Denny. He's got it. He's got some help, too. Quick shot, and that one fought off by Rousseau. Now another shot steered away by Mathis Rousseau. Uh, pressing are the Oceanic, and 
Once again, a shave for Rousseau and for Kennedy. Kennedy across the line, low shot. Kicked out with the left pad of Rousseau and the Moose will force it out to center once again. There's a minute 38 remaining. Alex Blay across the line, open ice. Now quick pass, a shot, they score, and it's Quinn Kennedy. He goes upstairs, and we get a tie hockey game with a minute 32 remaining here in the third period. The upper Dan Talon boy evening the score late in this third period. As he's going to make it a 2-2 hockey game. He's going to extend his hot streak. He has been red hot here over the last five games. That's just a pretty little play for Vale St. Denis to get it to Kennedy, and he just goes roof. And chance right there for Matt Fischer. So when we're all even. So now Furlong, he'll send it up ice for Jordan Dume. Dume was waiting for Furlong. Dume makes his way in a shot. He scores! Jordan Dume edges it in overtime. Seventh game of the season, seventh snipe of the year for Jordan Dume as he absolutely blows that one past Vincent Villian here in overtime. Coming in down that right wing side. Can this guy snipe for what? Gorgeous release. Vincent Villian with no chance right there. Jake Furlong driving in back post. More of a, a decoy on that one as Dume knew. Exactly.